Hey everybody, uh, this video is not going to be a very popular video, but I believe it has to be made. Um, I'm going to be talking about the Pussy Church of Modern Witchcraft. This is a church that is claiming pagan values. Um, they have made the requirements to be a 501c three which means they are a tax exempt religious nonprofit. However, they have some attributes that are not very popular. And this is what I have to talk about. This is an all woman church. The only people allowed in the church are born women. So if you've had a sex change operation for a man to woman, you're not allowed. You have to be a naturally born woman to be a part of this tradition. And the only way that you can advance in the hierarchy of this church is to be a confirmed lesbian. Now. What does that say right there? It says that these people do not like men. Okay, because men are not allowed. And so this bothers me. You know, we talk about fighting sexism and paganism. You know, we should defend women and men naturally. In traditional Wicca, they talk about the Lord and Lady being as equals. Feminism even claims that it is all about equality, where men and women have equal treatment. But unfortunately, there are many forms of feminism out there, and there are many feminists out there who are not seeking equality. And this proves it right here because they are building an all-female church. Now, paganism has strong connections in feminism because some of the very first uh, female pagans here in the U.S. were feminists. Starhawk, somebody that I strongly despise, um, is an active feminist. Um, her books even promote feminism. Yes, she was using her religious ideals to promote feminism. And that's why she has the goddess tradition. She does not have a god tradition to have balance. No, she is a goddess tradition. And it is this line of thinking that has made a lot of people in the pagan communities believe that paganism is a goddess tradition, when it is not. Because you cannot have a goddess tradition if traditional Wicca says that there is a lord and lady and they are equal. So, this is where I have a problem with this church. Oh, boy. I am not going to read this article from start to finish because of time constraints. Um, I have copy and pasted most of it up here, and I will have the link down below. Um, I am wanting to go through and talk about several key points because I think they are important. Uh, one of the main problems that we're having with this is not just the fact that it is t uh, feminism going on an absolute tangent where we have women that do not want to share their sacred space with men. Um, they are creating standards that has upset other communities, uh, especially from the LGBTQ communities. Okay. In short, uh, this church was or is rooted in traditional witchcraft, and its membership is restricted to those who have been a woman since birth. All right, so right there, gender fluidity is not allowed. 
because if you are a man and you identify as a woman, you're not allowed. If you had a sex change operation, you're not allowed. Okay? They are putting these restrictions on membership. And that is why there is a lot of controversy. Now, we have a lot of left-leaning groups here that are demanding that every one of their needs be fit and demanded to be placed into this church. So we are actually having one left group, the LGBTQ community, fighting the feminist uh, community to be included. And so, you know, who could play the biggest victim card? That's a part I hate about this. Okay, now the story of the church creation is one that left-leaning political analysts may find familiar. The election of Donald Trump to the presidency found the group wondering about the future. Okay, so again, they were upset because Trump, who represents so many negative aspects to many people, uh, was elected president, and so they went, and instead of reacting rationally, in my opinion, they went irrational to the extreme and created the Pussy Church. Um, and one of the person representing the Pussy Church, um, her name is Sister Dandelion, and she goes like this. We recognize there was a deep need to create space where women could come together, practice spirituality, and create solidarity, Dandelion explained, and see the liberation of women. The church was created in response to fears that the new president would herald a rising misogyny, a focus on women's spirituality, Harkens back to the inspiration of many a uh, pagan group. Women outnumber men in paganism. Um, I even look at my books that I have on my bookshelves, and out of them, I would say 70% of them were written by women. We have a lot of women as high priestesses, very few men as high priests. Um, you look at the YouTube pagan communities, and you're going to find that women outnumber men probably three, maybe four to one, easy. So women have a lot of control, a lot of power in paganism. And so where she's coming up with this need, um, to me, doesn't make much sense. Um, continuing on, Dandelion's unwitchcraft reaches back 25 years and began with formal training in Dianic Priestess, whom she declined to name, uh, but she did declare that um, she is in lineage of Z Budapest. Now, I have complained about Z Budapest in the past. You see, at public pagan events, Z Budapest has had rituals where only naturally born women were allowed. No men was allowed. Transgenders not allowed. Crossdressers not allowed. Um, so she had these standards. This escalated. And Z Budapest um, is part of the problem. Dianic Wicca, Dianic paganism, is where women have all the power. So um, in this they're saying, you know, as I said um, a little bit ago, you had to be a lesbian to advance into the hierarchy. And you can only be a naturally born female. 
this shows a high level of hatred towards men. Men aren't allowed in the group. You, and if you even love a man, you're not allowed to advance in the group. You are held back because you are having a relationship with a male. It, does that not sound wrong to you? Because it sounds wrong to me. Um, again, we're supposed to be fighting sexism, and here they're promoting it. Um, we have a lot of female pagans out there, and I believe there's even a lot of pagan males out there that complain about the male-dominated Christian, well, Abrahamic religions as a whole. And, you know, we say how they lack balance, they do not embrace the spirit of humanity. But here we have a group that's gone the reverse, and it's supposed to be all right. We cannot allow the absolute reverse and say it's all right. If all male groups are wrong, then all female groups are wrong. We are supposed to be working together in unity, in harmony, in balance. How is this balance? This is completely lacking balance. This is a detriment to paganism because it is groups like this who get this mindset that destroy us. Because like I said, there goes some of our unity, some of our harmony, because we have growing groups that are saying, oh, women only. Now, I have to ask this for everybody there, and I want you to put comments down below, please. Can you accept an all-male group? Would you support an all-male pagan group? Yes or no? Now, the greatest way to find out if something is right and wrong is to switch keywords. You know, um, when we're talking about racist actions, you know, so switch white and black around and see if it's all right. Because, you know, racial, racial profiling against whites seems all right, okay? Racial profiles against blacks seems all right. All right. Now, we both know, don't we all know, that racial profiling against blacks is wrong. And so racial profiling against whites is wrong. Racial profiling is plain wrong. So now we switch genders on this. And if we have a group of men that decide to have the penis church of witchcraft, is it a sexist group? Well, is it? All right. Now, Dandelion is saying that she is bringing a strong background of witchcraft into this group. Um, and she says that some of the other members um, are having some structure as well. But I'm going to read this part out to you. What I've encountered in is some emphasis on lineage and degrees of witchcraft, she explained. But my orientation and that of the church is much more intuitive, wild, open, and even resistant to those kinds of distinctions. The pussy church approach is, as she said, loosely defined, very much rooted in wise woman, intuitive magic, aka kitchen witchcraft. Okay. Now, remember, she is a left-leaning person, and a lot of the uh, these left-leaning political activists, idealists, they attack categories. They hate categories. They hate structure. And so she is removing structures and so that people are not 
educated as well as they should be um, and keep in some type of order. Now, if you have studied witchcraft, you know that structure and order is there at places for good reasons. And here she is basically abandoning it, okay? Which is very, very communist, um, actually, because communists in communism, they talk about um, the power structure, how there are people that are above and they have control and domination over others, the lesser people. And so if you destroy the hierarchy, the three levels like the degree system um, then you are massing people together and there is no real reason to try you know, everybody's just left supposedly happy in a dumb mass um, but she says that the wildness manifests in an emphasis of face-to-face -face connection as well as spontaneity during those encounters. Um, we are constantly crafting as we go about our lives, Dandelion says, intuitively gathering and coming together on full moon to cook a meal, howl at the moon, or talk about traumas. All of those things can be thought as aspects of witchcraft. No, talking about traumas is not an aspect of witchcraft. Talking about traumas is playing the victim card and it is a way to make people fall into this little group that they have created. We learn from our pain, but our pain is not a part of our practice. Her intention is not to cast aspirations on those who use a more herit heretical model. I'm grateful there are people who are keeping alive earth-based practices, even if not in my way, Dandelion says. Now more than ever, we need that. There's room at the table for all of us. Well, apparently not there, Dandelion because you're not allowing guys in there. Um, you know, you're not letting the transgendered go in there. You cannot allow people that are gender fluid. So don't be saying all of us when you really don't mean all of us. <laughs>